What you guys got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at a free program called MProtect MBR Guard version 4. Now, this one was requested by a couple of my YouTube members uh, a, a while ago, and uh, what this does is it protects your uh, MBR, which is your master boot record on your computer, against uh, malicious rootkits and bootkits. Okay, now I've not heard of this program before, but it is a Korean based program, uh, so. Um, I did a bit of hunting and found the link for the website, um, so we're going to give it a blast and see how it goes. Now rootkits as we know are very nasty and once they get on the system they can cause all sorts of damage to your system and also they, they can uh, stealthily sit there without you knowing and you could be doing banking and stuff and they could be stealing all your information. So here we have uh, three rootkits on the system and we're going to give these a blast to see whether mProtect um, MBR guard can stop those from installing. I've also got TDSS killer here to test the system to see whether they slip through and actually get into your master boot record and change it. So let's get started. So I've also got um, kill switch. Uh, kill switch is uh, by Komodo, it's a free tool to use. And I've also got it set up to hide safe processes. So you will see the process start and go here, okay? And then from there we can uh, judge what's going on. Now down on the bottom right hand side is where the mProtect MBR guard is. And you can see there's Korean text here. But there's also a bit of English which is MBR. And you can see there's a tick in there. And that is to say that it's now enabled and protecting my master boot record. So let's get started here by clicking on SIDOX and you can see Sidox is starting to load it's logged off the system as you see in the uh, thing there and that you can see has been blocked log on UI.exe uh, and uh, Sidox is still running but down in the bottom right you'll see and there is a link there in Korean which you can click on which will tell you about the information uh, of what's happening now it's still on the desktop at the moment so it's not um, been disappeared or anything like that but you can see it's still on the, the kill switch here okay now something shut down again as you can see it's just shut the system down so we're going to log back on and you can see uh, consent.exe has been blocked now 91cec.exe wants to run so I'm going to run this and just let it run to see whether it blocks it now you've got all sorts of stuff trying to load and run on the system here um, but it blocked that also um, but there is still sidox.exe running at the moment. There's something else trying to run now, as you can see, 99215. Uh, so I'm going to say yes to that, let it run. It's still trying to do its thing. And uh, that got blocked also by uh, mProtect, MBR guard. And that's blocked that. So we'll give it a little bit longer to see what's happening. And I'm not sure what's going on here now. It's still at, sitting on the uh, processes there. It's still on the desktop. Now, sometimes these do just suddenly disappear. And the reason for that is they get through the installation process and they install. Now, you can see it's now gone. It can't complete its process and it's now disappeared. Now, that's either got installed on the system or mProtect has deleted it, one or the other. Okay. So what we'll do next is I'm just going to drop this down here. And we're going to fire up a TDSS killer. It wants me to download the latest version. So we're just going to do that. Okay, and drop that onto the desktop. We can close that off now. So I'm just going to drag this out here and copy and replace that. And then we can run this on our system. I'm going to accept that. Let it load. Just going to change the. Uh, parameters here, put the two ticks in and run a scan. Now we'll let this run and see if anything slips on the uh, computer. Now sometimes when you reboot the system that's when the uh, the actual rootkit will get onto the system so we'll try that in a second once we've scanned. Okay it's now clean but I will reboot quickly just to test it okay so I'm just going to quickly reboot the system And we'll just let this load back up. Now what I'm going to do here again is quickly run another scan with TDSS killer just to see if that actually inserted itself onto the system. 
and then we'll run a scan here. Okay, that's uh, running a scan. It doesn't look like it's got through. It's been blocked and deleted by mProtect, which is a really good job. Okay, no threats found. So let's move on to the next one. So I'm just going to quickly open up kill switch here again. And uh, I'm just going to quickly hide the safe processes. Move this down. And then we'll move on to this next one. So we'll move on to this one. You can see it loading up. It's been blocked down here and been deleted. Straight away it got blocked by mProtect and the process is now gone. So I'll just quickly reboot the system just to make sure. So we'll just let this uh, load back up to the desktop. So we'll just quickly fire up kill switch. And do the same again, hide the processes here and then we will click on the last one here. Uh, straight away this wants to run something loads of stuff is trying to run as you can see here there's a file here ce93k7.exe is trying to run we'll see if uh okay the system just crashed so we're just going to boot back up Okay, so the system crashed, the files now disappeared. So mProtect MBR Guard has probably deleted that file. Um, so what we're going to do here is uh, run a quick scan with TDSS Killer just to see whether that slipped through and got onto the system. Quickly change these here and do a scan. Okay, that was a really good job. It blocked all those from changing the master boot record. I'm just going to do a quick scan now with Hitman Pro just to make sure um, that nothing slipped through and like other remnants of the rootkit has been dropped onto the system, uh, like secondary files. And we'll see if that uh, comes up clean. I'll be right back once this is finished. So as you can see here, there is other files that have been dropped on now I know these say ransomware um, but these weren't on the system previously so I'm not sure what they are um, but these may have been renamed wrong but all these temp files these are all that's left okay and this was the file you did see it show up um, it got dropped onto the system but it didn't finish its job by changing the master boot record okay so the files did drop down onto the system and tried to change the uh, master boot record but they got blocked but it still dropped these files down it didn't stop those from being dropped onto the system so as you can see there is some stuff here um, so it did its job in blocking the MBR uh, from being changed Okay, so I've uninstalled now mProtect's MBR Guard off the system. And uh, what I'm going to do is just to show you that they are um, rootkits. And uh, I'll just show you this one. I'll do one. I'm not going to do them all. But I'll just quickly show you this one. When you click on it, it does the same thing as it did. But without the mProtect MBR Guard version 4, it's more than likely going to infect the system. Might need a reboot, but we'll try it. And there you go. Found one. And you can see there, it has infected the system and changed the master boot record there. Now to me, uh, that mProtect blocked all that and that's a pretty good job what it's done there. So we're just going to quickly cure that and reboot the system. And uh, that can lay there undetected um, 
So let me just quickly reboot. Okay, so that's the reboot now done. I'm just going to quickly delete this file here and run a scan with uh, TDSS Killer just to make sure that that rootkit has been removed uh, from the system. And um, once this has been done, uh, the system should be cleaned again from that rootkit. Now, again, I've only just done three rootkits on this and tested it. And as you can see, it did a pretty good job. Now, there is other remnants that did slip through, but they're pretty useless when you haven't got the main rootkit to change the master boot record there installed on the system. So, although some secondary stuff did get through, the main part did get blocked. So, it done its job, really. Um, that's now been removed. Now, what it does with other rootkits, there's just three that I tested, but there's loads of others that I can use to test as well, okay? Uh, but that just gives you an idea of a program that does block those types of rootkits. Anyway, my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, then hit that like button, guys. It really does help me out. And also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Now, I think that's about it for this video. So have a great weekend, and I shall see you again in the next video. I'm going on me jolly soon, so if you don't see a video for a while, it's because I'm on holiday. Thanks again for your support, guys. Bye for now.